Good morning everyone! Welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're continuing our campaign through Thrones of Britannia playing as Stratclute. And I'm gonna wait for winter to pass over and then we're gonna besiege Dunkalden. After that, I guess I am going to take like two more regions here. They don't have a lot left to be honest and I, like I, I wanna peace out like if they, they're left with this city. I want to piece them out because this is not really valuable. Sure, some of these regions might be, but it's hard to control. And so I don't think I want to go this far north. So we'll see. We'll see. It really depends on what Orkneyar will decide to do. But for now, let's do what we can do. So if we're going back here... Hitting Powys back in this region is going to be very easy to do. Taking back the fruit. But I believe we'll have to repair it, right? Yeah. It did cost us just a tiny bit of extra money to do that. But we're going back here. Gwynedd doesn't seem to have anything else left. They no. only have this 18 stack army and they might even win here. But will that be enough we to cannot. fight these stacks? I guess it could be, but they're bringing so much forward. They're bringing so much forward that I'm very curious why West Sax doesn't lose some of its vassals. Because they are not really defended, like they're very undefended in the south. Okay. Over here, I am Get going moving. to go for Kirken. I know I'm gonna take some snow attrition, but it's going to be fine. As long as they don't raid our land, you know, create problems that we don't want. And we'll be fine. And next on the list is just this single army, the single army with which we want Attack to take the monastery. We will. Agreed. Okay. Decent enough. We we can even start taxing. It's a very low chance that they'll rebel against us. As far as the governor goes, yeah, we have none that would be fit for any of these regions. Unless I want to put a warrior in, but I don't. 5,000 gold. What are we going to do? Well, here, commercial is the rule of the game. On this side, Cumberland seems to be our secondary region as far as value goes. I think I am going to expand it commercially. We're gonna go in order of value at this point. And thus we can go in this direction. Don't really care for this unique building. And we have enough public order in, so that we could go further in. With the mine. Hmm, let's uh, take a look at some of the other areas. Actually, yeah, let's upgrade buildings in Stratclude better. And then I'll end the turn. We'll get a brand new research. Public order will stay strong for a while. I think I could even go up in taxes. All things considered. Okay, Powers has a 20 stack army here. Well, they might have a I chance to push some of their units strength. back. Oh uh, yeah, more public order, we will take that. Courtly, it make them more loyal. Economical with the truth for free or lower influence. Yeah, this is bad as well as a trait. You don't want people to be weak 
either because they will look for more in the end. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. Let's see, can I make people sally out here? This isn't an option. No. Bring their doom. At this point, Don't with the grants that we've gained, these sieges are easy. Not possible. With our air. With our air, we're gonna move south. Fall upon them. With this single army, we're going to bring them in here. They have only one public order penalty there. We will serve you well. I will bring you up to the mine, try to replenish them fully. Do you proud. And even recruit... I think one more cavalry. Before we move on. This guy, yeah, we'll just Warriors leave him in the position. keep. Leave him to stay around this area. In Ofa, we could go with the next level of the treasury, and I do like that idea. He's expensive, but it will be worth it. This governor, very loyal, but that is where everything stops. He has minus two to governance for being greedy, plus one from mediator, and yeah, if we're going with the scribe, now we're at plus one because he's also a builder. Okay, sounds good in the end. No new governor, potential governors. How is bad public order? So we're gonna stop taxing it for uh, until we have the keep. Any other regions that we could start taxing? Not that much. Ooh. Winnen now has two stacks, but they're suffering a lot of attrition. I think they've waited too much and their supplies are out, because they were green like a few turns ago. Not anymore. And these are red now. Strike them down. More than you bargained for, okay. Builder never hungry from granary building chain, plus free to unit replenishment. The thought of anyone he knows going hungry is an anathema to this man. Such is his devotion to hearth as well as home. Apprentice Tanner plus 22 shield effectiveness. This is a level 2 one. Ice from a Tanner building chain. Producer plus 1. To governance and plus 2 to, to unit replenishment. And keen on fishing plus 10 income from farms. Yeah, that's really cool. What else do we have here? A tavern has been constructed. Once again, I think Ofa is our most valuable region. It doesn't produce any food. Well, it's our neutral food. But other than that, it's good. Do we care for this church? Like that is the question, huh? But we're gonna go like this. And I feel like starting from next turn, we need to start focusing on producing more food because we're getting close to our limit and we are on high taxes already. We cannot go very high. Going on normal, we would have minus 71 food. But we have all of these bonuses to public order and we need to stop doing this. And I need to start looking for where is our food region? One, I could throw it in here. I'd go to the next level. It's 30 food there. But I feel like here is probably the place where I should be adding it. If I go like this, we're gonna get a lot more food out of it. And I like that idea, to Let be honest. The enemy beware. Okay, more food, yes. more iron as well, or bronze, oh, it's copper, 
My warriors will not falter. I think I am going to besiege the region first and then I'm going to go for the farm. Strike them down! Here there's nothing impressive. So we can kick Powis out of the area quite quickly. Right now! At this point, I feel like this war is not fought anymore no. with these, with these armies, with Gwynedd and Powys. I think the war is going to start with the Anglo-Saxons. I look forward to hearing your propositions. And they have a lot of territory. We have a defensive pact. Let's cancel our, our defensive pact. He's still happy with us, but... I will want to declare war on him at some point in the near future, so I don't want us to have a, relations at, you know, a relation at that point. For this general, I am going to give him more quartermastering, or maybe a bit more loyalty. Let's give him some extra loyalty. Every man will do his duty. And then we have a governor. He is loyal now, so adding points into scribe seems like the right way to go. We will serve you well. Even in investing in some wives would be good. I try to get all of our governors married, and even our generals, why not? Send them he has recruited a bunch For more units. Once again, I don't think I care. Doesn't really matter what he recruits. Occupy. Right there we now. go. Armor. Yeah, stones. And the monastery. Let's see. At which point are we going to get this unlocked? Grade within the monastery chain or one of its unique variants, or conquer region with the highest level building in one of these chains. That is definitely going to take a while. More wood cutting would be would help. Duty. Can't do that. And what do I need? I need these two regions. That's all that I still need. I think you will run away from us. We are Arthur's folk. And with you, I just have to bring you over here for the farm if these guys we don't take it first. But it seems like it will take them a while, so this region should be ours before it should be theirs. Yep. I feel like I was right. The Anglo Saxons couldn't reach the farmland of Powers. My power and might grows. This reading has a royal mean now. Demolition complete of the monastery. In this region, I could throw in a grain pit and be happy with it. For the glory of the Camry, command but look us. at that. So, Warriors I just have to do this. We obey. Agreed. Camry forever. For the Camry. Bring the rest of the army south. For the glory of the Camry. Eager for action. It will besiege them. Bring their doom. Okay, uh, they have counter of spearmen, a bunch of well swords, few long bowmen, and here we don't have the most elite of our armies. Fall upon them! 
but we will get another monster bar hole. I like it. I think it will be a good addition to us. We can upgrade these guys for a thousand and I will do so. I'm going to take care of their armies here. Right, we don't want them to march through our land, even though I know they'll reappear somewhere very close to us. Away to war! I mean, they don't have these regions anymore. Kirken only has like these two villages. Warriors, into position. I'll leave you here. These two villages and this one, which is besieged. More wood. More wood for the fire. We will serve you well. Does anybody else from the people watching this listen to System of a Down? Do people even know what System of a Down is anymore? I do wonder, are like are they there still people who are discovering like these old bands? Now I am at the age where I could be a father, and uh, well, I, I could have been a father a while back, I guess, and probably have kids. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. I think if I was to have kids like earlier in my life, at this point they would be discovering music quite strongly. I think it's at this point that they would decide like what type of music they would like depending on their friends as well and I wonder what I would have thought about the music that they listened to and <laughs> I've always thought like you can't really tell people what type of music they should hear like hey don't don't uh... my efforts are rewarded I think it was someone like Dara O'Brien who said like was making a joke like, oh, you shouldn't like these types of sound in your head. <laughs> right, these ones. And I, in, a, in a sense, I feel like he's right. But in practice, like, would I still be like that? I think I want to fight this battle. I don't know how the map would look, but I'm interested to fight it. So in practice, what would I be like, or what will I be like with uh, with my kids? Will I be open, or will I be like that? Isn't music? <laughs> Weird thoughts. Let's start this battle, and we will throw. Our troops, I think I do like this side. Going from this side would put them slightly further away from the sea. What's your command? But uh, always let's have our most elite troops fight here. What's your command? Now we're talking. We are the Camry. Axemen. Then I want Levy axes men. to be around, spears. Could pretty much Spearmen. everyone in a standard like position. I want the Welsh archers to engage somewhere around here Camry. and we'll leave the rest of them behind. Now we're talking. Axemen. The enemy has reinforcements! Oof. Oof. The enemy approaches. What do they they have long bomber? Like look at that. They've melted like three three attacks here. Three attacks and it's only eight troops that were left. Look at that. Yeah, Wells Longbowman, man. Where did this guy come from? Look at that. If there's 
if there ever was a move that I wasn't expecting, is this. So because his general was a cavalry unit, and cavalry units don't start on a ship, like they start to land it, they've just charged our Welsh mailed axemen, which were on the ladders, and they demolished them. Wow. You know what? After how many campaigns did we do? Is it six now? If this game can still surprise me, top marks. And the reason why I say that is, like, it might not be perfect, but somewhere in there, I feel like all of these ideas, they have, there's a hope there that they will make it into reality at some point, if they haven't done so already. Right, but whenever they're going to look for maybe another historical title or something like that, they're going to look back on this game, maybe even at the feedback that was received on them. And I know that I am not somewhere in, in the eyes of creative assembly at this point, I can understand that, but I am hoping that, who knows, maybe one day they will look at one of these videos or maybe I'll have a saying in, in the community to even speak in details about like what worked in this game, what didn't, you know, details. Talk about details. Okay. Okay, out of ammo with our archers. Let's see. These Welsh, Welsh swordsmen are still doing well. They're sitting there strong. I want to use the swords here. Okay, let's move these guys around. They're not bringing these troops forward for some reason. And I think that is a mistake on his part. These swords, only 21 swords left. Okay, I need to change tactics here. This... This is not working. What we're doing here is we're gathering up and they're holding us down. Right? They're holding us down here. And they're tiring us out. And they will still have a bunch of fresh units holding the line. We'll stop that. Yeah. Let's bring you all the way over here. You are still active, these are. See, they flee before our might. These are winded, we're going to capture the gates, as soon as the gates are, are ours, we're going to bring these troops in. Some dogs, some javelins and some spears. I am going to charge like these swords, bring these guys over here, have all of these guys focus on this sword. Yeah, eight troops remaining on this Welsh. Uh, do any tower here? Yes. So. We'll bring you on this side. Our general is under attack. Attack! 
Not the best position, but we're doing some charging now. Let's put the pressure here. Too much pressure in a sense, but... Seems like it is needed. Visual swordsmen on the veterancy that they have, they were really strong. Let's see. Can we do more damage here? Yes. here make sure everybody stays strong warhounds are almost done just like that okay not the best, not the worst either. Decent job, all things considered. And now Gwynedd has a farm. They have a few more territories to the south of us. But we have taken another region. Yeah, they have a few more territories here. Occupy. And we're done here. Nice. Let's repair this. Do we want more? Yeah, we like more food. For these blacksmith. I will repair it just so we can repair the armors. Or give them armor and weapons during the next turn. It's gonna cost us around a thousand. For the governor, we're going ahead, giving him more governing points. For you, you have good loyalty now, so scribe it is. In this region, uh, this is a general though. Probably another point in the champion. He's almost at four. Every man will do his duty. For duty. Yeah. We're gonna make progress here. For we need a bit more food My as we're gonna start go another down. army with this guy. You, another point into scribes. In Offa. I guess we're still looking for more food, right? Rather than investing in anything else, that extra food should be our priority. We start taxing this region. We're gonna get another 50 food. And I can go with another level of alehouse for more money. Yeah, caster is looking good. Strike them down! Right now! And I feel 
we're gonna have to go to war with Orkneyar for this region <laughs> to fully hold this region. We'll see if that is a reality. Objectives. What is here? Gwynid, yeah, almost ready to take it. Pau is almost ready to take it, meaning that we'll have to declare war on West Sax, but we're gonna be okay. Kerdigon, do it for do it. We need to start a war with West Sax, okay? Mornhawk, same idea, and finally, Colonel. We will need a ship to start sailing south. I believe that that is going to be the order in which we will do certain things. But I feel like that is pretty much all the time that we have for today. I feel like this campaign has been going well. Maybe not, uh, like once we got started, militarily at least we played it well and we had m many opportunities to expand and not many setbacks. As far as construction goes, have we played to the theme? I think we mostly respected the commercial areas rather than the themes of the towns. I feel if there's something that pushed us further ahead economically, more than anything else is going commercial. But yeah, with that in mind, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And until then, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.